Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we can start with love, Taurus. Let's see what's going on. All right, Taurus, what do we have for Taurus? Okay, never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings, Taurus. All right, so it looks like maybe you kind of get riled up, kind of get all over the place. You get into your feelings, but feelings are whimsical. They come, they go. So you have to be cautious of that. Because if you're making permanent decisions on these temporary emotions, um, these temporary feelings, you're always going to be on the apologizing side of a conversation, of the argument, because you're jumping the gun. All right. Let's see what else is going on. Yes. Okay. This being red too. Some of you just see red and you go off or you go in. Um, some of you haven't healed. You haven't healed your heart chakra. You're so defensive. You always are on the defense. Life is art. Paint your dreams. Sing your songs. Enjoy your dance. Okay, so life is art. You know, it's happening all around you. It is what it is. You know, you don't, you can't see the full picture here until you actually are engaging. You're actually doing some of you want to know the, the beginning from the end, and it's not like that. It's just like, get out there, engage in it, do it. Relationships are risk, but for some of them, it's a good, for some people, it turns out to be a good risk, okay? All right, let's see what else is going on. Sometimes the people, the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. So some of you is like, I don't know, you got something to heal here, uh, crying all night and, you know, being strong in the morning. There's just some unresolved issues. Again, something about heart chakra, uh, lying to yourself and to others, making your life look like it's one way and it's another. Running from those deep feelings of loneliness, of not getting it right, of always starting over. You need, this was promiscuity. Some of you just need to settle down within yourself and identify why you can't settle down. Some of you feel like you found your quote unquote twin flame here. It says that um, Greek mythology says humans were born with four arms, four legs and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of the other half. So some of you feel like you found your other half here, but maybe they aren't cooperating with you. Yeah, because it says the hottest love has the coldest end. So maybe somebody's, um, they're not warming up to you anymore, or it's getting cold, or this person is, is distant. Uh, it's, they, they're very distant. Uh, they're not showing up, or they're not doing the things that they used to do. But it, it doesn't say that the relationship is over. It just says that sometimes this card can be read as interject some more fun in their connection. But you're not going to get, you know, a better connection by nagging and overthinking and being super emotional and making permanent decisions on temporary feelings. If you feel like this is your twin flame, if you feel like this is your person, fight for it. If you feel like the relationship has changed, Think of things you can bring into the connection. Some of you just need to stop this right here. It's an overload on, on the tarot to the point where it makes you confused. And maybe the health of the relationship is declining here. Somebody be out here acting like a prostitute or somebody is a prostitute. Jesus Christ. Well, you know, they could be absolutely gorgeous, but just, you know, whatever. Somebody got caught cheating. Uh, wow, the town whore coming out. Somebody gets around. We talked about that and the club hopper. So we got prostitute, town whore, and club hopper. These all stand for somebody who just cannot maintain a relationship. 
They cannot stay still. They're all over the place. Um, this could be you. This could be someone that you're dealing with. This is somebody who, um, let's see. This is a lie. I mean, somebody could get paid for money. It is they. Hey, it's they business. Whatever you got to do, what you got to do, right? Um, own your shit, so nobody can throw. You know, nobody can hit you with your shit because you owned it, right? Um, if you want longevity, of course you're gonna have to change this energy. You're gonna have to change this. You can't do this and have a long term relationships. Oh shit. Look, I looked down. Look what I saw. We talked about that. Some of you need to delve deep into yourself, honey. You need to go sit with the with the therapist. And this is not there. Look, the tarot is not therapy. You need to. Somebody can't keep steady work. This could even be steady relationships too. Somebody just can't keep shit steady. It's just like. Somebody just all over the place. Flighty is an understatement for this person. Let's see what's going on in career and finance. Get that help that you need. It, it is not a mark against you. We all should do therapy. We all should be checking in with ourselves and our mental health. Just like we take our car to get service, tune up, oil change. You need to go take your mind, your body, your mind, your spirit to get a tune up there. Um, so that you can, you know, kind of pinpoint the things you need to work on. Can't make it up. Okay. So this is career and finance support. Maybe you're getting support. Maybe somebody's supporting you. This could be child support. Someone could be changing their mind about um, maybe several different jobs or, or opportunities here. Somebody changes their mind a lot. Again, can't keep steady work. Maybe somebody's just all over the place. Keep the faith. Whatever you're trying to bring into fruition could actually happen for you. But you're going to have to keep the faith. Uh, don't talk negative. An end of an era, maybe of jumping around from job to job, is going to stop from for you. Somebody supporting you. Spiritual growth here. Whatever this is you're going through, it was all for this reason and this reason only. Only for you to spiritually grow. You know, if you don't have this in life, then you'll be back again. So you can learn it. So this is um, for spiritual growth here. The, the adversity, the trials, and the test of yourself. Dietary change. Some of you want to lose weight. Some of you want to get fit. Or you, okay, I heard better skin or something like that. Um, you're going to have to change what you're eating, your intake. Also, if you want to start to listen to your intuition and hear yourself clear or hear spirit clear, you have to change what you're eating. You might have to fast some days it doesn't have to be for the whole day you can do sun up to sun down but you you got to deny yourself so that you can hear spiritually okay memories keep you stuck to something keep you beating up yourself keep you not moving forward question your motivation i'm gonna leave you with two cards of advice here let's see moving forward what do we have? Okay. Temperance. Um, all right. Govern yourself accordingly. There could be some, you need to start. So this talks about taking the middle ground, holding down your emotional outbursts, um, tempering again, your emotions, um, so that challenging situations can pass. Maybe you can salvage relationships. You don't have to just throw them away and start anew. You can learn how to just be settled. That's what temperance is about. So you don't have to throw the relationship away and start something new. Jesus Christ. Ace of Swords, the clarity that you need is coming, hopefully, to you in this reading. If it is, let me know. Put some swords down there in the comment section. You're getting the Ace of Swords right now. So it says uh, clarity. And this card talks about, uh, it talks about conflict before resolution. So this is when you... When you clearly see something, when you know what the distraction is, whether it's yourself or something else or whatever it may be, it causes conflict because now you get to change your mind. Therefore, you get to change your actions. Therefore, you're changing and people might see that. And here comes the conflict. But if you can get through that because the swords are about trials, tests, adversity, then you're going to have resolution. Things will settle down for you. Again, settle down is like the 
nature or the theme of this reading, right? All right, last card, six of pentacles, back to um, generosity, harmony, okay? Back to bringing your power back into yourself. Um, some of you, ha okay, oh, shit, dang, the, a slave to money, a slave to making it, a slave to getting material possessions. Um, that's what you're all about. Yeah. Okay, so Taurus. Uh, you rule the second house. So that's like earn income. Doing something day to day. You have a real strong work ethic also. You want to get back to a place where you can start giving. But you got to fill yourself up first because you depleted. it. Also, some of you need to get uh, your savings back up. That's what the card is saying. Um, it, it's working hard, reliable, dependable. You could travel around for work. I don't know if you're moving around or you travel for work. You got to change something about yourself. That's how you feel. I mean, I'm just reading the cards. I don't, you know. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you, Taurus. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Go over, I told you to do that. Um, if you wanna get your own personal reading, you could use a discount code. Go to the community tab here on YouTube, on my channel, get one of those discount codes, head over to the website, use the code at the website, book your reading. Um, Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come learn the Tarot with me. Uh, classes are linked below. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you. Take care.